Hey there, Jonathan Meoff. Let me ask you something. What strange thing are you not allowed to do in the French vineyard? The answer might well surprise you, and I'm going to give you that answer faster than you can say, put the lotion in the basket. In the meantime, if you do not know who I am, I am that creepy guy outside your window. This of real panther, and you know that I'm out there. And I like the fact that you know that I'm out there. I don't know what that even just meant. Anyway, there you jive talker you. I would like to welcome you to episode number 73, 74, uh, who gives a sh of the Fun of Fred Day videos. <laughs> That's right. In today's video there, Lady Remington, we will have just for you the funny joke of the day. Preceding that, something chosen entirely at random, but first... I need to dispel some uncertainty. In my last video, I released the amazing new product, the Panther Vibe. And after reading some of the comments below, there seemed to be some doubt, some uncertainty as to its efficacy. Well, folks, I am going to prove to you all in real time just how amazing it really is. I will be right back. Okay, welcome back. Right here I have a sample of the original product. Unfortunately, the container it was in broke because apparently the kids in Malaysia cannot make the containers correctly. Anyway, this is a combination of white apple cider vinegar, gluten-free sea salt, and the sweat, oils, and other bodily secretions of yours truly. Anyway, when you apply this to the skin, it will improve both its glow and its elasticity as I am about to demonstrate. And it smells really good too. <coughs> oh man, I must have been I must have been eating onions that day. Oh yeah, I can feel that working. I can feel that work. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Huh? Huh? That's right, who's laughing now? Chuckles. Anyway, I'm gonna have a link for this amazing product in the description below. Okay, in today's video, looks like we're doing something random today, that thing being, you know what, we just did that. Let's do something different. No. 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 Ah, there we go. Lowered expectations. Sit back, take that cue ball out of your mouth, and be prepared to enjoy. Hey there ladies, I'm Max, but you probably recognize me from my work in the adult film industry under the name Max Piercing. That's right, Max Piercing. But don't let my occupational choices put your tits in a shiver. I mean, you take away the 17 inches, you take away the good looks, you take away the money, the fame, and you take away the 17 inches, and really, I'm just as regular as the next guy. I mean. I can change my own oil, I do word jumbles on the toilet, I put my pants on one leg at a time. Now granted in my case it can uh, take a little longer if you know what I mean. Not only that, but for all of you hot to trot ladies out there, I would consider myself to be a gentleman of the old school. That's right, I will hold open the doors for you. I will take you to overpriced restaurants with no expectation of what you should be doing for me. Once the meal is over, I will send you happy little texts. I will buy you flowers for no reason. I know how to treat a bitch with the utmost respect. Now granted, I've had more than my fair share of problems, and I'm sure I'm gonna have more problems in the future. I mean, it's hard to keep a Mustang like this in the stable. Still, that doesn't mean that I can't try to find something loosely resembling love. And I'm sure that at least one of you silly c**ts out there is exactly what I'm looking for. For example, I like hot chicks. I like librarians. I like nurses. I like chicks with sisters. I like chicks who don't know the first thing about plumbing. I don't like ugly chicks. I don't like smart chicks. If you're gonna read, read on your own time. I don't like chicks with diarrhea, especially when I'm working. And I don't like chicks who ask lots and lots and lots of questions. 
Why didn't you show up for our date last night? What'd the doctor have to say? Where's that money you owe me? I mean, grow up, would you? I don't have time for that kind of nonsense. If that's what you're looking for, I'm sure there's some pencil-pushing, steady paycheck, limp dick clown out there with your name all over him. Why don't you go f*** him? If you're looking for some real adventure, though, if you're looking for some turbulence in your life, go ahead and call your boy Max. Wow, it's hard to believe that that guy is alone. But you, my friend, you don't have to be alone. If you enjoy this kind of digital diarrhea and you are not already a member, please consider lowering your own expectations as well as your own standards and hitting that subscribe button. We all would love to have you as a member here. Also, at the beginning of this video there, Pimp Juice, I asked you, what strange thing are you not allowed to do in the French vineyards? The answer, land a UFO. That's right, you are not allowed to land a UFO in the French vineyards. I did not know that that was such a problem, but then again, I don't know a whole lot about a whole lot of things. But what I do know are some good, good jokes. And I'm about to give you one here in a moment. When I do, please do me the service of posting in the comment section below your own personalized rating somewhere on a scale of zero to five. Okay there, Mac Daddy, are you ready for the joke? What do you call a hippie's wife, man? A Mrs. Hippie. Wow, that was probably the worst joke I've ever said. You guys are welcome. Anyway, please rate that joke in the comment section below and have yourself a most excellent Friday indeed. My friend, peace out.